it going everybody i'm sitting here and i just felt like doing a video so i'm doing a quick little tutorial on how to change the size of your like character screenshots into character select screen of mugen or ikeman or basically you know sprites uh, i'm gonna jump on my ikeman go that i've been goofing around with until the newer version comes out and I'm going to find a character because I've been slowly making the characters uh, like their portraits, like the right size and like moving them into the right spots. And I thought, you know, I, I might as well do a quick little video on it. You know, if any of you out there bump into it, I know how aggravating it is whenever you download characters and put them in your your game and their screenshots are in just either like way up top somewhere where you can't see them or. They take up the whole screen because they're huge. So I figured I'd do this right here and you know, hopefully it'll help somebody out out there. I'm just gonna go here and look. I already fixed uh, quite a few of mine. Uh, one thing I will say, if they're like huge and you like kind of crush them down, you know, compress them, it will kind of make them a little funky looking. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Not that bad. All right, where should I go? I stopped somewhere right up here. Oh, man, that one right there was huge. Yeah, I can't even find that one in my uh, my character list. I'm going to have to just dig for it. Uh, it's not named Bradley for some reason in my character uh, list. Well, them are fine on size. They're just in the wrong place. But I want to do something that's, there we go, Cleopatra. That one's like way too big and it's in the wrong spot. So I'll go and adjust it. Basically, you just get Fighter Factory 3. I've tried some of the other ones and I just couldn't get them to work the way I wanted them to work. Things wasn't right or in the right places or the resolution was just way off inside the Fighter Factory and it wouldn't let me see things to click on it. So I decided to just go with Fighter Factory 3, and I will leave a link in the description where to get it because I had to dig around for it. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to this folder right here. Just click on it, and uh, I already got my stuff open. You know, you just go to wherever you got your Mugen or your Ikeman or whatever, and you open it up, and you go to your... Uh, day your character folder and we're looking for what was it cleopatra let me back it up uh, where is cleopatra there it is right there's cleopatra you just open it up and you want to open up the def def file uh, sometimes they'll have multiple def files but you just want to open up the regular def file Okay, now you want to go up here and uh, click on s sprites. Right here it is. You want to click on sprites. It'll open up the sprite menu. And this is groups right here, and this is indexes. You want to make sure it's on group 9000 and index 1. This is absolutely necessary and very, very important. So be sure that you always make sure that you're in group 9000 and index one. Okay, what I like to do is I like to just go ahead and, because of where mine is set, I'll just go ahead and set this to zero. The X axis and the Y axis. All right, got that set now. And my, it, my thing is about right in here somewhere. So I'm gonna put that there. And uh, once you get that where you want it, you want to go up here to the top, the very top, across from all this, go to Sprites, go down to Image Editor. Now, some of these Fighter Factories doesn't have all this stuff, so I'd suggest you just go ahead and get Fighter Factory 3 that I left in the description and save yourself a lot of trouble and a lot of aggravation and headache. You just want to open that up, go over here to Image, click on that, and you can do rotation and cropping and all that stuff, but we just want to go to resize. Okay, now I want to 
bring this sucker down. So I'm just going to take it down to, I don't know, I'm just guessing, but I'm going to say like 130. Try that and bring this one down. I'm thinking 160 probably. And just click OK. Go up to the file right here. Open that up. Go to save. Oh, see, it's smaller now. It's probably still not small enough, but we're going to go check it anyway. Okay, now you just close this. Click yes. Now go up here to save sprites. It's right next to the duplicate the current sprite. You want to go to the save sprites. Just click that. Uh, sometimes it'll say this right here. Uh, don't worry about it. I just most of the time I'll just click auto organize. It's fine. I've never had any trouble out of it. You could probably ignore it, but I always just click that. And now we'll just go back over here to our game and open it up. see how Cleopatra looks. So you see it was way over here. Okay, now see it's smaller, it's still not small enough. I'm just doing this to show you. I'm going to do it like probably this will be the last time probably and then I'll move it to where it needs to be moved. Now, one thing I will say, uh, I don't know if this will do this for everybody, but sometimes it'll glitch. And once you resize it, and then you grab a hold of it here and try to move it around, and then save it, it doesn't work sometimes. So what I do, I just go back up here to open. I reopen Cleopatra. I put it back on group 9000 and index 1. It's fine. If there was any kind of bugs or glitches where it wouldn't let you move it and save it and it stay moved or anything, they're they're gone now. I know some people is having trouble with this and they couldn't figure it out, but that's how it works for me. Okay, so now we want to go back up here to sprites, go back to image editor, and we want to go back to image and back to resize, and we want to make this sucker smaller. I think we're going to go with 95. And 120 height. Maybe that'll be right. Yeah, that'll probably fit pretty good. But just go ahead and close that. We done did the file. Just make sure you save it. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and exit out of here. Go back over here to save sprites, save it, Just do that or whatever, then go back to your game. It should be the good enough size now to put it where I need it, but I'm going to have to move it. This is just the way I do it. There might be other ways. I just find, found, I figured out how to do it this way, and that's just the way I do it. Yeah, see, it's the perfect size now, but it needs to come to the right. And like I said, sometimes it'll glitch, so I just always go back up here and reopen it and go back to group 9000 index 1. Just grab it and bring it down just a little bit and over to the right just a little bit. Then go back up here and go to save sprites. I know it seems like a little bit aggravating, but most of the time it's not this hard. I'm just doing this, you know, trying to show you multiple times how to do it. You get the hang of it once you do it a couple times. I see, it's almost perfect. It needs to come to the right just a little bit. And I don't even have to worry about it. I can just go ahead and reopen it again. Make sure it's on that. I can just grab it now and move it to the right a little bit and save it. And I know it's fine. I don't even really have to go look. It should be exactly where I want it to be in the character select screen. I 
I found one other video on YouTube that showed uh, how to do this, but it was it was a little bit vague in some areas. You know, it didn't show enough. That say right there, that's great. Now I can just click on her and you know, let's find something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll do the do that one. Perfect. Of course, that level right there is not made for them. That is for the, that's one of the Naruto levels. But yes, that is pretty much it on how you do that. And I hope that some of you out there find this to be helpful. I know it was really aggravating for me downloading characters and they just being all over the place. You know, I ignored it for quite a while. But eventually, I just got fed up with it and set out on my own. Uh, to figure it out. Uh, thank you for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and stick around. Check out my latest videos to keep up with uh, Omega Crazy Tales news and uh, what schedules I'm going to be doing. I keep those in my descriptions of my newest videos. And thank you.